You are listening to The Centropic Oracle, an audiobook podcast of science fiction and fantasy short stories that make you think and feel. North of Horsefly by K.T. Wagner Late in autumn, I accidentally transformed myself into a moose. After camping along logging roads for months, Red and I were north of Horsefly in the Caribou. Living on next to nothing had strained our 29-year marriage almost to the breaking point. We scrounged for items to sell at swap meets, heading into towns to check out garage sales and garbage bins. Bored, I pilfered a tattered book of love spells from an old lady selling flowers and junk on her front porch. Don't believe in magic, but maybe I can nudge karma a little in the right direction, I teased Red. The flames deepened the black night around us. He didn't look up from the other side of the campfire. I shivered in the frosty air and knew we wouldn't survive the winter. Willow, balsam, and my own hair were easy to gather. I snipped Red's gray beard while he slept. Tea tasted awful, but I gagged it down. Nothing happened. Disappointed, I crawled into the bed in the RV. Red slept in a pup tent. The next morning, my back pressed uncomfortably against the paneled wall. Arms and legs numb, mouth dry as fallen leaves. I rolled over and smacked into the ceiling. Scrambling to my feet, all four of them, I briefly puzzled over the beige paneling turned gray and the red covers, now black. My scream for red shook the RV. The braying noise might have knocked me over except for my position wedged between the cupboard and the bathroom. Red banged on the window. Alice, don't kick! To this day, I'm grateful he recognized me beneath the brown fur and prehensile lip. I'd know you anywhere, he later said. Twenty-nine years means you can't hide. Too big to fit through the door of the RV, I barely held it together. For days, Red brought me armfuls of balsam fir, willow twigs, and birch bark. I chewed and ruminated on life. Red finished up those little chores he'd been putting off around the camper. Early one crisp, sunny morning, he chopped firewood, a soothing rhythmic sound. A roar interrupted our peace, and something deep in my gut begged me to kick out the sides of the RV and prance into the woods. Focusing on red, I only lifted my snout and pressed it against the window. My breath fogged the glass. Even so, I could still see the bull moose. It charged straight at the RV, coming for me. Red brandished his axe, tossed his head, and let out a roar of his own. He took up position between me and the challenger. She's mine! My suitor paused the enormous bell beneath its chin swaying, its ears flicked back, then straightened. Red snarled. The raised hairs on the neck and shoulders of the bull dropped back into place. It snorted and wandered back into the bush. I wiped a hand across my brow and collapsed onto the floor. The spell had reversed! That evening, we held hands and watched the spell book burn in the campfire. We should go south, said Red. Yes, I agreed. Together, we headed into the RV. We hope you enjoyed North of Horsefly by K.T. Wagner, read by Candace Hunter. If you'd like to make a donation to the author and narrator of this story, Check out the story page link in the description and click the PayPal donate button or pledge your support to us directly on Patreon. Would you like to submit a story to the Centropic Oracle? A link to our submission guidelines can be found in the description.